Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to play Oregon Trail Director's Cut for the first time with you guys. Um Yeah, I I remember playing the Oregon Trail back when I was a little child in school on those little hunks of Macintosh Apple computers. Um this game apparently is a big old parody of that. Um not really sure how different it is. I figure it's the same game with a different theme, but hey, we will give it a go. Um, comes with campaign, endless mode, options, and extras. In your extras menu, you get Clement's Quest, credits, tombstones, leaderboards, achievements, skulls, and beat campaign to unlock Halloween mode. Um, haven't messed with that. Under options, you got music volume, sound effect volume, click volume. On the road, Twitter prompt enabled. Uh, I'll disable that. I don't use Twitter. Um, control scheme, mouse only. I think its default is mouse and keyboard. But you know what? I don't remember using a keyboard when I was a little girl playing the Oregon Trail, so I'm going to do mouse only. Um, so let's get started. Campaign mode. Choose your difficulty. Let's see if it tells me the differences. The difficulty you pick will determine the amount of supplies you can scavenge at the start of your journey. It also affects enemy difficulty and event occurrences. You are rewarded for choosing a higher difficulty with a score modifier. We're gonna go with normal. Click on the enemy and draw a line towards yourself to shoot. Jeez. Well then, it looks like I just saved your bacon. I reckon we stand a better chance out there if we stick together. My name is Clements. I used to be a priest. Not much use for those nowadays. What's your name, partner? The pleasure's all mine, Holly. Listen, even with the two of us, we won't survive very long. Everyone I trusted died a while back. Do you know anyone we could count on in a pinch? Oh my, I get to pick... ...some people. Um... Pick my good friend, John Callis. My good friend, Andrew. And... Uh... Gotta put my boyfriend in there. So, are these names correct? Yes. There's a good chance if they're still alive, they will be at the shelter set up in DC. If they have any sense, that is. We're going to need a way to get around. I saw an old station wagon a few blocks back. Those things might not be very reliable, but you'd be surprised how roomy they are. Anyway, let's get moving. Move. All right, I think I've got just enough fuel and food for us to make it to DC in this baby. Let's hit the road, I'll drive. Clements is broken, uh, has a broken arm. What? How'd you break your arm driving? Clements has dysentery! Clements was bitten by a zombie. You're out of fuel. 
Washington, D.C. Click anywhere to continue. Oh my god, look at those zombies! Just as the station wagon runs out of fuel, you coast into the city. You can hear a radio blaring in a nearby window. Repeat! All survivors who still remain in Washington, D.C., the government has declared a Class 3 biohazard in the area. They will be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Get out while you can. The city is lost. Looks like we have a time problem. I'll go look for your friends at the shelter. Meanwhile, you should go scavenging for supplies. I've heard about a place on the west coast that is supposed to be a safe haven from all this chaos. Let's meet back here and head out. Here, take my journal. I've written down everything I know about surviving on the road. It should help you decide what you think we may need on the trip. I don't think you're going to be around much longer, Clements. Pick the supplies you want together. Well, we definitely need fuel. Oh! Wow. Okay, hold on a minute. Let's see. Two tires. Food. You can travel for four hours on a tank of gas. I find that you want to have at least eight tanks with you at any given time so you can make it to your next destination. And even then, these suckers seem to get lost or stolen all the time. Sometimes you just need a good old-fashioned mag kit. They always seem to perk someone up when they are feeling down. I've seen a guy with a broken arm say he felt at least 30% better after I patched him up with one of these bad boys. Always a good idea to have a handful of these around for emergencies. Although most traders on the road don't find much value in paper money, there are still little pockets of civilization who cling to the old ways. I'd keep a few hundred on me at any time so I could buy what I need when the times get rough. But those merchants really have a funny sense of value for the end times. You should be able to find money while scavenging. You will need to scavenge for scrap if your car breaks down. You can make some general repairs to your vehicle with all the scrap lying around. The more you have, the better chance it will stick. I usually just get repairs at the auto shops myself. It's pricey, but I'm no good with my hands. Scavenging is the easiest way to get food, other than all the zombies. Depending on the number of people in your group and how, your ra your ration your how you ration your food, you will burn through your food at a rate of 1 to 3 ounce per person, per hour. That means you should be eating an average of 240 ounces a day in a group of 5. The world has gone to shit. It's a great thing that, that America loves its guns because I can't ever seem to kill enough of these zombie bastards. You would be surprised how quickly you burn through them. I've easily gone through a few dozen rounds just scavenging for food, and if you ever find yourself surrounded, you better be packing. It's always good to have some spare parts on you. You don't want to break down in the middle of nowhere and stand around waiting for someone who wants to trade whatever you got for what you need. I always carry a few extra batteries, tires, and mufflers on me. Don't leave home without them. Well, you know, this is what we're going for. Actually... Your friends join the party. Hi friends, good to see you. Click anywhere to continue. Great, everyone's here. There's just one more thing. Back there on the road, one of those things bit me. I'm already not feeling too well and I can't stand the thought of becoming one of them. You're gonna have to pump me down. Why don't you keep my journal? It may help you out there. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> what? I, I shot...
down. How do I shoot forward? What's going on? There, finally. Oh my god, I was shooting up and down. Holly put down Clements. Done. No, I don't want to tweet it. seem to be doing pretty good. Well. Thirty six of their ammo. For three of my fuel, yeah. Why not? That's why I want fourteen of your dollars for four of their scrap. Fourteen of my dollars, yeah. Don't forget to set your pace and rations to a reasonable amount. Don't push yourself too hard, stranger. Set my pace to normal. All the way here, and I gotta go. Whee! You can learn new combat techniques for scavenging in small towns at the combat trainer. Let's scavenge. Scavenging instructions, click to move, pull back to aim, release to shoot. Oh no! I did bad. <laughs> my uh my arrow keys Be warned stranger don't dig a water hole drink only river water salty as the river is it's better than any infection we buried my husband last week could use some help with this grave for my kids if you could spare the time I didn't seem to 
to do anything. Um, a bandit shoots out one of your tires, drives off. Dick, you replace it from supplies. Bandit sneaks up on you and grabs McGuire. Uh oh. You only get one shot. Yeah, I saved my friend! You're welcome, Charlie. The only water you can find is sludge from a runoff drain. You reluctantly drank it. Ugh. Stop here. It's 11 p.m. Zombie activity is deadly. Let's get back on the road. Oh man. Do I get to stop here? What's going on? The tire dies on you, but you replace it from supplies. P Pittsburgh. Butter or cheese or ice cream since electricity went out. Bless me, I don't think I can do without the comforts of the modern age for much longer. Now let's try. <laughs> you were overrun and got injured in the process. Good lord. I suck at this.
Alright, we're gonna rest for six hours. I tell you what, these controls are balls. Alright, we're all healed up. Let's leave. You must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. The horde in front of you is currently large in size and appears to be ravenous. Shoot. You can attempt to sneak through the horde. If the zombies aren't very aggressive looking, you might be able to slowly drive through them without drawing their attention. You can also fight your way through. You will attempt to drive through the horde at top speed, firing from the windows as you go. A large and angry horde may still be able to overwhelm the vehicle. If there are mercenaries nearby, they might be willing to protect you for a, normal fee, for a nominal fee as you pass through the horde. It's ravenous. Means I can't... There's no point in trying to sneak through it. successfully fought my way through the horde. 200 miles to the mall. We'll see how it goes. There's a tombstone in the distance. Will you get out and take a look? I guess so. Who rocks? Blue team rocks. Discover two med kits near the grave. Get lost on a backcountry road for an hour. Ooh, that sucks. Andy has a fever. No, Andrew! You're sick! Let's get to the mall. You stop, a you stop suddenly to avoid hitting a zombie and everyone gets whiplash. Left to die, mall. There's a massive herd of the undead coming toward town. Hired guns needed! Difficulty suicide. Payment $12. Why not? It's full of failure. Did you hear the radio broadcast today? They say some folks start for safe haven without carrying spare parts, not even an extra battery. Must think they grow on trees. Hope they're lucky enough to find an abandoned car.
Oh, ho. I succeeded. You found 400, 450 ounces of food while scavenging, but you were only able to carry 250 back. Wow. How's my ammo? It's still pretty good. Alright guys, well here's the deal. I'm going to pause the game here and we will pick up with my next play. Uh, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe me. If you have any games to suggest for me to play, please do. I have a very extensive library of games. Um, so feel free to just leave me a comment down below what you'd like to see me try to play. Um, Take care, thanks.